Knowing what I know about men, I think that Joe Biden is one of the smartest men on earth. To coin a phrase, come on, man. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Recently, I was privy to the live first ever press conference from our dear leader. Watching him answer the questions that day reminded me of a comedian in which whose name escapes me at this time, but his act stuck with me. It was one of the first guys to really be honest about what men are like, what men think about or how men think, how simple their brains tend to be and it, that it's possible for them to sit around and think about nothing. In his act, he describes about how men are pretty much genius because they have the uncanny ability to act stupid in order to avoid work and tasks that they just don't want to do. This stupid check, as I like to call it, eventually leads them to be able to sit and watch the ball game, which is what they wanted to do in the first place. So I kind of sort of think about it in these terms, that this man is a genius. I mean, think about it and watch if you've been watching. He does nothing but push a pen and read notes and teleprompter for his speeches, while in the office of the most powerful position on the planet, but you can tell he's not the one doing any of the work for this position. I mean, what was he doing the other day when he called the lid at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday? Playing video games? Sitting around in his underwear? One of the things that I think that fuels this is the fact that he has an unconditional admiration of the press. At least from what I can tell. Character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. Him. So he countered that it was impassioned, it was empathetic, and it really delivered around some of those points trying to relate to the American people uh, eye to eye. It was that head on shot the entire time, almost like a presidential address. Instead, the perception of you that got you elected as a moral, decent man is the reason why a lot of immigrants are coming to this country and entrusting you with unaccompanied minors. Those lights that are that are just shooting out from the Lincoln Memorial uh, along the reflecting pool, it, I look, it's like almost extensions of Joe Biden's arms embracing America, uh, outstretching his arms. The 46th president of the United States putting his soul into his first address. He gave the kind of inaugural address our presidents used to give as hopeful as the man delivering it. We saw the steely determination and compassion of President Joe Biden. What a great love story between Jill Biden and Joe Biden. And we haven't had a love story in the White House in four years. He takes advantage of this so much that no matter what he says or does, the media seems to either try to make it like he's done something just so grandiose and so brilliant, or if someone comes after him about any of his gaffes, they try to turn him into some stuttering special needs victim. The first mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. Yeah. There's a part of Biden that feels more Reagan-esque that way. You're like, ah, it's grandpa, it's Uncle Joe. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Those oh that Joe moments are part of his political charm. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. So much of what is appealing about him to a lot of voters is the fact that he's authentic. I got hairy legs. The fact that he doesn't yeah. always seem scripted. The kids used to come up and reach in the pool. 
and rub my leg down. Your AR-14s are what? Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, let's you want to tell me the thing. There's a lot again. of guys. Biden yesterday uh, showed the other side of his humanity, uh, and that is he's a fighter. You're full of and some people see that as charming, a candidate who's willing to air it out face to face with a guy. This is going to be a net plus for Joe Biden. Ashton Carter, Joe Biden, the vice president, was swearing him in to be defense secretary. He waved his wife over and a uh, little hands on treatment from the vice president. Everybody knows he's a touchy feely guy and he's just very friendly. He is. He was reportedly comforting her after she fell on ice. It's bread and love. <laughs> Coon said Maggie was not uncomfortable at all. <laughs> They're going to put you all back in chains. He's making an historic reference he may not have been right to do, but it certainly wasn't malignant. I'm not even sure it had any anything to do with race. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. The, the, the phone. Still, he is a master of the Thank quick recovery. Problem. Make sure the kids hear words. These qualities are almost endearing to voters. We choose truth over fact. Facts. They find him more believable because he makes missteps every so often. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, it's Chris, I but mean, anyway. Chris. These gaffes are also a part of who he is as a politician. Your husband has been known um, to make the occasional gaffe. Uh, oh, you can't even go there. You can, after Donald Trump, you well, cannot even want. say the word gaffe. I can't gaff. even say the word mm -mm. gaffe. Nope. But you know. Nope. Even... Done. It's gone. I don't think of myself as continuing to stutter. Everyone else also seems to be helping him along as he just seems to casually bumble around and do whatever he wants while everyone else leads him around. I'm not sure, but for Jill, I don't think I would have stayed involved in public life. Hey, Dad. I'm back. I'm sorry. The scientists say that it's safe. doesn't have to make any decisions on his own, and when he gets called out for messing up, he can blame everyone else. Brilliant! I wish I would have thought of that. Oh wait, I just did. Look out, world! <laughs> just joking. Or am I? Look, I'm, I, I don't know where you guys come from, man. I'm a great respecter of faith. Oh, come on. I don't even think about it. I don't have... I have no idea. So, phooey! on all of those people calling the former Vice President Joe Biden an idiot. Knowing what I know about the way men think and how most of them are brilliant at getting out of doing things they don't want to do, I say he's a genius. Hell, he even had tons of help and support getting the Oval to begin with. I know I didn't see him doing much work for it, but that's a tale for another video. True and I suffered to pressure. And so, I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, I'm, we're going to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence. Brilliant and suspenseful, too. He's also brilliant in so much as the fact that he's able to slide the truth in there without anyone calling him on it or even noticing, if you will. If you listen closely enough, though, he always lets you know exactly what's going on. In fact, I remember seeing that when Jimmy Dore pointed it out at one point. But you end up hearing things like this. Truth of the matter is, nothing has changed 
Well, I'm sick and tired of smart guys. I got hairy legs. And so I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Everybody knows I like kids better than people. Once again, brilliant. Anyone paying attention, actually paying attention, is probably not going to vote for this person again. Come on, man. 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 I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Please help me to keep this up by clicking the like button, commenting, subscribing, and what will get the most attention is sharing. Of course, a donation would be the ultimate, and I am, as always, sending out gifts, unique gifts, for any donations that I receive. Thanks to everyone that supported me so far, and thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.